everyone, my name is Amber and today we are going to create some good wishes feathers to help us spread love and kindness all over the world. Let's get started. Okay, I've got everything I need to get started. Some paper, some pencils or markers, whatever I like to draw with, my scissors, and some sticky tape. And the first thing we need to do is to fold our paper into quarters, into four parts. I've got four boxes on my piece of paper. Now I'm going to draw a feather shape or possibly a leaf shape into each of my boxes. So think about the way that a leaf shape is not quite circle, it's not quite oval, it's a bit pointy at the top and pointy at the bottom as well. So let's make them quite fat. <laughs> we have a nice fat leaf shape. Oh, and I do have a squeaky pen today. Maybe there's a mouse in my pen today. So I've got one, another fat feather leaf shape on this side. And don't forget to draw the big line that runs through the middle of a feather and through the middle of a leaf too. So I'm going to draw my line. Now I'm going to draw a double line because I want to make it quite thick and very obvious where the middle of that feather is. And that will help us a little bit later when we do our cutting out and also when we do our sticky taping. So I've got my two feathers. Let me draw two more. Perfect. All right, here I have four of my good wishes feathers. Now, for the fun part, you can use words or you can use pictures, but I want you to think about who would you like to send good wishes and loving thoughts to today? So let me think about, hmm, who do I want to send some kind wishes to today? I definitely want to send some wishes to my brother. So I'm going to write his name on one of my feathers. And I want to think about also his wife, Hannah. So I'm going to write Shem and Hannah, and they are going to have a baby soon. So I'm also going to write and baby. I really want to send some loving kindness and some wishes out to them. So I'm gonna give you a minute to write down some names and to draw some pictures of people you want to send some good wishes to. Now, after you have drawn and written the names of all the people you wish to send some good wishes to, it's time to decorate. All right, I'm carefully going to cut around the edge of my feather. So very carefully, this is where I practice some mindfulness. I am paying very close attention to what I can feel with my scissors and my hand. And I'm only thinking about one thing. I'm concentrating and focusing on cutting very carefully around the outside of my feather. Okay. Here's my feather. And now we have to focus really, really hard. You know how feathers have all those little lines in them? Well, we are going to use our scissors to turn this into a real feather. Let's pay very close attention and practice mindfulness as we cut from the edge to the middle of our feather. Okay, I've cut out my feather. It's a little bit floppy and that's okay. We are going to use the other part of our paper to help us out here. So I'm, not, I'm going to make sure I use all of my paper. I'm gonna chop this up so I have a nice strong line here and chop the other side so I have about a line. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is where I'm going to use some of my sticky tape and just fold these together 
to make a little bit of a thick piece of paper that we can put in the middle of our feather to help it to stand up. So maybe just fold it in half, I'm gonna flip over my feather and put my other piece of paper right on top. Using my sticky tape, let's stick some at the top and let's stick some at the bottom. Now, the way we practice is to hold our feather right in front of us. Maybe you want to even close your eyes and imagine what those people look like. Think about the people you want to send some good wishes to. I'm going to imagine my brother. I'm going to imagine Hannah and the baby. And then take a deep breath in. And as I blow out, I'm gonna blow my good wishes all across my feather. Let's practice. Now, if you have even more people that you want to send some good wishes to, we can follow those same steps. Decorate and color in our other feathers and then hold them together in a big feather fan. Now, I have all of my good wishes feathers ready to blow. And I can send good wishes and loving thoughts to all of the people in my family across the world. I'm going to close my eyes, imagine all of the people whose names are written on these feathers. Take a deep breath in and then send my good wishes with a big breath out. When I send good wishes and loving thoughts, I just feel so calm and relaxed and full of love on the inside of my body. And I know that my family, if they know I'm sending good wishes to them, well, they are full of love and happiness too. I hope you enjoyed creating your good wishes feathers with me and spreading our loving kindness all over the world. See you next time, everyone.